Joffrey was actually scared of everyone and knew how weak he actually was. To compensate for being the opposite of Robert Baratheon, Joffrey behaved in the most cruel way possible so his subjects would fear him. Joffrey was successful but did not project the same type of fear Robert did within the kingdom. Fortunately for Joffrey who never left King's Landing, it was full of sycophants and sheep who obliged Joffrey and played along with the illusion that he was this magnificent powerful warrior king. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. The only subjects who did not play along with this were Ser Baristan, the Hound, Sansa, Arya, Tyrion, and Tywin. The Stark sisters saw what a coward and imbecile he was way back in Winterfell. Arya resented Joffrey for what he was whilst Sansa was too infatuated with fairy tales to see for what he was until the end of season 1. However both of the sisters were powerless to do anything even when they realized. The Hound, clearly had some form of cynical intelligence so knew what Joffrey was but for most of his duration as a king's guard he served Robert. Once Joffrey became king he knew things were going to get bad so during the siege he left the whole king's guard institution and became a cell sword. Ser Baristan got sacked because Joffrey and his court knew that Ser Baristan wouldn't stand for Joffrey especially if it became clear he had no genuine claim to the throne and could become a serious thorn to Joffrey's side so he sacked him. In his parting speech to Joffrey, Ser Barrister said, Here, boy. Melt it down and add it to the others. I think it sums up what he really thinks of him a silly little cruel boy. Tyrion was perhaps the only one who publicly humiliated Joffrey for what he was. But in return, Joffrey made his life difficult but Tyrion did get away with a lot given the fact that Joffrey sentenced people for terrible punishment for minor crimes. Tywin was the only one Joffrey was publicly afraid of but given Twine's reputation it wasn't unreasonable. Tywin was the head of the Lannister family who were the richest family in Westeros. Tywin also had a huge army which actually saved Joffrey from the siege and last but not least everyone including Joffrey knew how cruel and brutal Tywin was therefore Joffrey knew this was one man he shouldn't really push around or even cross. In fact the previous dynasty were unseated by Tywin himself. Well, Joffrey may be stupid, but he's not that stupid. He's a little shit with a head twice too big for his body but, even if he will not admit it openly, he must know that Tywin is doing most of the heavy lifting to keep his rule afloat. He acts like a prideful narcissist, but under the bravado, he's just a really clueless, petulant spoiled brat with a bully streak and I'm sure he must know it to an extent. After all, there are a few times where we can clearly see a glimpse of insecurities in Joffrey, especially in moments where he isn't in a power position or backed up by more capable people than him behind the curtains. The Battle of Blackwater comes to mind among others he was clearly wetting his pants there. He doesn't have a clue how to manage a kingdom except for sitting on a chair and speak really loud, and I'm sure some part of him must realize that killing Tywin would be suicide for him. If he wasn't already convinced of it before the Battle of Blackwater, then he sure as well must have been when he saw Tywin arriving back then, not only saving his sorry ass from Stannis but also bringing a strong alliance with the Tyrell to his table. And, as you mentioned, the fact that he is indeed scared of Tywin, does in fact plays into why he doesn't kill him. It might be irrational, considering he could technically have someone do it for him, but again, Joffrey is just a stupid kid. Killing Tywin might have never even crossed his mind, since he was so intimidated by him. And even if it did cross his mind, the logistics of killing Tywin would be pretty tricky. First of all, Tywin is his hand and his grandfather. Killing him in a straightforward manner would be out of the question, as it would surely cause even more outrage and chaos, something that Joffrey's rule already has its fair share of. He wouldn't just be able to ask one of his king's guard to go ahead and kill his grandfather and hand on the spot. It would require stealth and secrecy. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.